Moving on, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. So this is the last year these are gonna be in your exams. Um, so for those, you're all in year 12, um, but uh, I'd say luckily for you, these are pretty straightforward um, and they're getting removed from the new study design, which I don't, I don't love, I'll be honest, but um, it's a good thing for you because these are quite straightforward marks in an exam. So a Maxwell Boltzmann curve displays the energy profile of whatever you've got. So the molecules you've got are all in this energy profile here. Essentially what you've got here is you've got, this is the number of molecules, this is the kinetic energy. So this space under here, if you could find, you know, the space under that and do the maths for it, that would be the number of molecules. All your molecules are under there. Essentially what it's trying to tell you is that, hey, this is, so all the molecules that fall on here have this amount of energy. So maybe that's a two, whatever it is. The ones that are all here, they have four. The ones that are all here, they have six. The ones that are all here, they have eight. The ones that are all here, have 10. You could say that this activation energy originally was at 8.5. Then you go and add a catalyst and that catalyst provides an alternative pathway and it's now at 6.5. Essentially, what this is trying to tell you is that prior, only this number, whatever that area is under there, that number of molecules could go through the reaction. There wasn't a lot. Then when we add the catalyst, there's still not that much, but there is a fair bit more because now all of these ones here can go through the reaction. So that is catalyst. So this one here is catalyst. Now, what happens if we actually increase the temperature? Well, what happens is we actually manipulate the curve. We don't move the activation energy line, we manipulate the curve. As you can see here, this was the original curve. Then when we increase the temperature, what we do is we actually flatten out the curve and push it forward. So we push it forward by going like this instead of going straight up and we flatten it by not getting as high. What that means is we're sort of just like, as we increase the temperature, some of them increase a little bit more than others. Everything's gonna increase, but some of them increase a little bit more and we get that little bit of extra height over here, but we lose a bit of height here. Same number of molecules, the area under that graph would be the exact same. The only thing that's changed is, as you can see here, this area here is much smaller than this area here. That's your difference there. So you can, again, get more particles going through the reaction. So as you can see here, there's a little meme to show you how things work. Memes are always a great way of learning, but you can have a look.